Hi, I'm Kelsey, the Naptime Chef. Today I'm up in Cooperstown and I'm doing a canning project with my dad. My daughter is off with her grandmother playing for the morning and dad and I are going to can some apple pie filling so we have it all year long. Upstate New York is one of the largest producers of apples in the country, so we have access to plenty of gorgeous orchards with beautiful ripe apples all fall. To can the apple pie filling, I suggest doing it with two people if you can. If not, one works well, just make sure you have some free time. The first thing I do is prepare the lemon solution for the apple slices. Pour the lemon juice and water mixture into the mixing bowls, and then prepare to make the filling that you'll heat up later. Add all of the ingredients for the filling to a large stove top pot. This pot was my grandmother's and we still call it my grandmother's cauldron. She used it all the time for making jam. Stir everything together and then let it rest and do not heat it until you're done with the apple slices. Before you begin peeling and coring your apples, also fill up a pot that you're going to use to blanch the apple slices in. Doing all these things ahead of time will make it so much easier once the apple slices are ready to go. Set the pot on the stove top and prepare it to boil. Then, work as a tag team like my dad and I did, and peel and core your apples and slice them into thin slices. I have this great new slicer that adjusts the slices to the thickness I want, so I made very thin slices. Place the slices directly into the lemon water solution and this will prevent them from browning before you blanch them. We are using a mix of Macintosh and Cortland apples because that is what the orchards had at the moment. They are wonderful in pie fillings. Once all the apple slices are ready to go, make sure your water is at a boil on the stove top. Scoop the apple slices into the boiling water and boil them for one minute once the water has returned to a boil. Then, scoop out the apple slices with a strainer. This is the easiest way to do it because you don't want to waste the water that's already boiling. And place them back in the bowls and cover them with a cloth towel. Repeat doing this with all the apple slices that you've cut. This is also a good time to make sure there are no browned apples in the batch because you certainly don't want to can those. Once the apple slices are blanched, they will look reduced in size, but don't worry, this is still the right amount for your apple pie filling. While the blanched apple slices are resting on the countertop, bring the cider solution to a boil and whisk it constantly until it starts to thicken. This happens pretty quickly, so do not leave the stove top. You will know the filling is beginning to thicken once it gets a gel-like consistency. While I was stirring, my dad got ready for the next step and filled up the pot with water that was going to be used for processing the jars. This takes a long time to bring to a boil, so it never hurts to start this too early. Once the cider mixture was thickened into a bubbling boil, I added the blanched apple slices. At this point, the filling is pretty much done. I just tossed in the apple slices and turned them over with the spatula a few times and then we were ready to fill our jars. Since the apple pie filling is very hot at this point, it is wise to fill the jars in a sink or in a protected area. We set the jars in the canning rack, they had already been sterilized, and used a wide mouth funnel to scoop in the apple pie filling to each jar. I filled them up with about an inch and a half of headroom left, and then my dad came through and filled them up to the top. We still left one inch of headroom at the top of every can. Our measurements for this recipe worked out beautifully, and we had exactly seven quarts worth of filling. Hopefully that's what will be the same for you if you follow this recipe. Then, you wipe the mouth of the jar really well, put on the lid, and tighten the rim just as tightly as you can with your hands. Do not try and force it any further than you can tighten on your own. Repeat this process with all of the jars until they are ready to go, then place them back in the canning rack. At this point, the water on the stovetop should be boiling and the jars are ready to be processed. 
Lower them into the boiling water and make sure the boiling water is covering them completely. Then put the lid on and process them for 30 minutes. Be sure to read the directions and how long you have to process them based on the elevation at which you are. When they were done processing, I lifted each jar individually out of the boiling water with a silicone mitt and put them over on our countertop. I covered them with a clean kitchen towel and listened to the lids pop all night long as they sealed up. It is a delicious way to ensure we will have apple pie filling all year long.